This morning, get ready to receive from God like never before and be prepared for an experience of God's favor and mercy. This is Mercy Moments with Pastor Chola or Shima Kinde. Just redeemer and friend Who would have thought that a lamb would Rescue the souls of men Oh, you rescue the souls of men Wonderful, merciful Savior Precious redeemer Wonderful, merciful, wonderful, merciful, sing your precious redeemer. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We love you. We thank you. Let's just worship God together. Can you lift up your hands wherever you are and just bless the name of the Lord? Tell him how great, how awesome, how mighty. This beautiful Monday morning, let the worship come from your heart. Just thank him. Just honor him. Just bless his name. Give him praise. Lord, you are wonderful. We thank you. Only the living, we always praise. What a privilege to be alive and alive in you this morning. Father, we thank you. We love you. We give you all the glory. Blessed be your name. You are good and your mercy endures forever and your faithfulness to all generations. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Welcome to Mercy Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. There is something beautiful I want to share with you this morning. And I want to talk about the power that is in the blood of Jesus. You see, we are given three weapons. The name of Jesus, the word of God, and the blood of Jesus. But I found out that many don't know how to use the blood to win the battles of life. I'm just going to start. I don't know whether I'll continue next week, but pay attention. There is power in the blood. Revelation 12, 11 says, And they overcame him. That's they overcoming the devil. By the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, they love not their lives even unto death. The blood will always overcome Satan. The blood will always defeat Satan. 
Because the blood defeated it once and for all. It's a defeat that it cannot recover from. But many people don't know how to appropriate what is in the blood. And I will attempt to share briefly with us this morning. So when we talk about the blood, we are talking about something powerful. Something that the devil will live forever to fear. Hallelujah. I will take you just to go to Exodus chapter 12. Just to set the first pattern when uh, they used the blood. You know, they had been in bondage. And I don't know who is watching me this morning. See, all bondages can end immediately. When there is the revelation of the power of the blood of Jesus, it terminates every bondage. So, they were in Egypt. They had been there for 430 good years. Boy, that was long. And Pharaoh was probably stubborn. And then the Lord said, I'm just going to bring one more plague. When I bring this one, it will have no choice. When you get what I'm saying this morning, things you have attempted to defeat also, we have no choice. Because this is something that nothing, nothing can resist successfully. So the Lord said, I'm just going to do one more thing. He said, I'm going to bring the blood. Then he told them that, you know what, put everybody in the house. Put the blood on the pole, the lintels of the door, but not on the floor. You dare not trample. You dare not walk on the blood. But we'll talk about that another day. But they were told to gather the blood in a basin. Every act in that uh, Exodus 12, every act is very, when you study it, you have to understand that all these acts are very, very important. Everything God told them to do was, he, he was trying to lay down a pattern. So they were told to put the blood in a basin. And the one I want to stress today is I hear people say, I play the blood. I play the blood of Jesus. We're saying that you play the blood. It's not how to play the blood. How to play the blood is a little deeper than that. God gave them an instruction in chapter 12, chapter 12 verse 22 precisely. That they were to use a, a plant called Aesop. And the Lord said, a bunch of Aesop. So they were not supposed to put their finger inside the blood in the basin and touch the pole. They must apply the blood to the pole and to the lintels. But you were not going to apply by putting your hand. Neither are you going to use handkerchief. Neither will you use any other thing. They were too specifically what to use. A bunch of Aesop. You dip it into the blood and you put it on your... And the angel of destruction of death will not be able to come in. What does this mean to us? See, that bunch of Aesop, remember, they talk about it also when Jesus was being crucified. They put the drink on it. It means something. It is your faith, your confession over the blood. How exactly do we plead the blood? Our bunch of Aesop is, you plug into the blood your revelation of what the word of God says about the blood. Anytime you want the blood to go into action, anytime you want the blood to respond, what you do is to begin to talk about the significance of the blood. What Jesus achieved by the blood. For instance, the Bible says, through the blood, we have redemption, even the forgiveness of sin. By the blood. The Bible talks about the fact that they overcame by the blood. Now, you begin to mention that we are justified by the blood. We are sanctified by the blood. We are purified by the blood. We are protected by the blood. When you begin to say, what the Bible says about the blood from your mouth. You are deep, you are, you are, you are putting ice soap in the blood and you are applying it. Men and brethren, wonders will begin to happen anytime a saint, you begin to mention what the Bible says about the blood. For instance, when you lift your hand and you say, I'm justified by the blood of Jesus, that I'm protected by the blood of Jesus Christ, that by the blood I am I have been set apart. I have redemption and redeemed from all causes. When you say that, the power of causes over you will be broken immediately. It's a spiritual law. Other than saying, I plead the blood. Say something about the blood. Through the blood, I've been redeemed. I've been set free out of pit where there is no water. By the blood of the covenant, double is rendered to me. When you speak like that, something happens in the spirit realm that gives you victory permanently. Hallelujah. 
Whatever you are saying, I believe in the blood of Jesus. By the blood, I'm justified, sanctified, purified. I have redemption through the blood. I am free from all causes by the blood. Till I come your way again next Monday, this is Mess Moment on a beautiful Monday morning. I'm Shalosh Magne. Jesus is Lord. God bless you. Remember, God is good and His mercy endures forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us on Mercy Moments today. To watch previous episodes of Mercy Moments with Pastor Shola, please follow us on all our social media platforms. God bless you.